I'm Molly Prentice, author of Tuesday Nights in 1980. It's a book set in New York on the cusp of 1979 to 1980, and it's about an artist who comes to New York from Argentina to seek fame, and a synesthetic art critic, and a young woman from Idaho who um, is coming into the big city looking to find herself. I specifically wanted to write about New York because I think New York had a huge impact on me when I came here first in 2006. What I love about New York is the juxtaposition of the sort of gritty, terrible, awful, everyday things you have to go through to live here. And then every single day something will surprise you in a way that enlivens you. And I feel like I really wanted to capture that in this book. Throughout the book there are these sections that called portraits that kind of describe the city or the surrounding atmosphere as, um, as, a, as a human the human form and New York really does come through as a fourth or fifth character and I really think it helps the city to sort of come alive. I sort of started imagining Manhattan as a body, a physical body and sort of Brooklyn being its arm and uh, having you know the like Central Park be sort of the lungs and then taxis running through like veins. There are lots of little cameos in the book from real artists from the time. You'll see Keith Haring, you'll see Jean-Michel Basquiat, um, Andy Warhol and, at a dinner table. And they're just little moments with these characters. And I actually debated a lot about including them. And then I thought about it more and more and uh, worked a lot with my agent on, on it. And we decided that it would be really cool for these little cameos to come in with um, these well-known artists. 